Hello, this is Tom from Never Center, and this video I'm going to show you the new features in Camerabag 2023.1. Um, and uh, these are sort of all kind of uh, centered around one concept, the new features in this. Uh, there's some bug fixes also. But the uh, thing that I want to show you, there's this new tab called File Browser. And so I've loaded this photo just from a, a folder. Um, and when you load any fo photo from a folder, it will um, basically load that folder into this file browser tab, and then you can hover over images and just click on them and load them. And it's a, just a really handy way to browse photos from within CameraBag. Um, so you've always been able to hit the right and left keys to, to go to the next and previous photos uh, in your directory. But this gives you a way to just sort of quickly see and skip to one. And you can see also in the thumbnail, it gives you handy information like the resolution and the file path. Um, and if you want to choose a different folder, you can either just load a file and it will update your folder here, or you can click this choose folder button and then navigate to whatever other folder you want to load into here. So that's uh, half of it in this uh, file browser tab. The other part of the um, photo browsing is this quick look button. So if I hit this, um, we've had this before in the presets, so if I hit the quick look in the presets, then it will load that photo and I can see all the different presets applied to it. But if you hit quick look in the file browser, then it will load all of the photos in that folder so that you can scroll through them in this full screen view and pick your photos that way. Um, one of the really neat things is um, that if I if I hit P and go to my presets, we changed those um, those shortcuts by the way. So now P does presets and F does files. But if I load one, say like Black and White Essentials five, um, still when I hover over these in the file browser tab, it's the original photo without this filter applied. And if I just hit the regular quick look, it's the same thing. But if I hit the plus button in this quick look, then it will load that folder and it will have that same filter applied to everything, uh, which is kind of neat, especially if you've done a photo shoot and it's a bunch of similar photos. You just want to see um, what they all look like under a given preset. So again, maybe I'll load a different preset. Mm. Browsing around film tone. Two, for example. And then if, if I uh, do that quick look and the shortcut for that is shift plus F, then again I'll see that uh, preset applied to all of the photos there and if I click on one it will just load it up um, and we'll still have that uh, filter preset applied with these adjustments. So very handy um, and like I say there's several bug fixes you can check the release notes for that but uh, this should be a real uh, huge workflow enhancer, and um, we think that you'll love it. And let us know what you think in the comments. Thanks.